we're going to be taking apart the Samsung Galaxy S7 Active. Here's the phone. First thing you're going to want to do is heat up the edges around the phone with a heat gun so you can pry the screen off. You're going to gently keep heating around the edges and put a plastic pry tool in there to keep it separated and eventually pry off the screen. All right, once you pry the screen off from the mid-frame, just to let you guys know, it, it took a long time. Uh, you guys have to be really careful so you don't crack the screen or, or damage the screen. The cable is going to be over here on the top, top part of it. That's where it connects to the main board. So just be careful not to damage that cable. And then the buttons on the bottom will stay on the screen but the fingerprint sensor is gonna stay on the mid-frame. Then it's gonna look like this on the inside. You're gonna have to disconnect the cable over here. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, once you got that disconnected, you can pry the screen off completely. So here's the screen. We have this copper shield that goes on the back. And then, here's your mid frame. All right, next what you're going to want to do, you're going to disconnect the fingerprint sensor. You're going to remove the cover over here. Comes off pretty easy. And then disconnect it from the board. And you can remove it. All right, next there's 12 Phillips screws you're gonna have to remove. One of them is gonna be black. The black one's gonna be over here. It's covering a, there's a connector or something over here is covering. We're gonna see that in a second. Just go ahead and remove them one by one. All right, if you haven't done so already, remove the SIM card tray on the side of the phone. 
And then once you have all the screws out, there's going to be a cover over here. You're going to remove this cover, this black cover. And there's a cable underneath it, just detach that cable off the main board. Okay, next thing you're going to do on the top of the phone, the IR light sensors on, on top over here. You're going to, from the top, just peel it off. It's held on with adhesive and there's a small screw underneath it. Take that screw off. Alright, next, you're going to release the catches around the mid-frame that hold this plate down that goes over the board. Just work your way from the top left-hand corner. Should pop off and separate. So on this plate, the back plate for the LCD, basically you're gonna have your battery, which is that 4,000 milliamp battery. It's pretty thick. And then You're gonna have your main board right over here. All right, next, you can remove the main camera. Disconnect off the board right there. Pops off. And you got your top microphone. Pops off right there. And then it's all done with adhesive underneath it, you can peel it off. I don't know if you see it's on my thumbs are really small. Kind of focus on it, but You can remove and replace the IR shield for the, for the light sensor. It's right here. All right, next thing you're gonna do on the bottom of the phone, lift up the microphone from underneath. Just make sure you don't cut the cable. It's held on with adhesive to the frame. It's right next to one of those Phillips screws on the bottom. Let me get this to focus in for you guys. It's right over here that gold part, the gold piece. Just go underneath it and pry it up. Once you got that pried up a little bit, you can remove the two black Phillips screws on the bottom by the charger port. All right, next, you're gonna disconnect this blue and white cable off the main board. All right, just make sure by the where the SIM tray is, that thing, that plastic piece that pushes the SIM tray out on the side over here, on from the inside, push it out so it doesn't block the board from lifting up. And then you can lift the board up gently away from the frame. Make sure there's a cable underneath it, you don't rip it apart. 
This cable leads to the bottom small board, which has a charger port on it and the front facing buttons. We can disconnect that cable. Board comes off. All right, here's the main board. Here's the other side of it. And just left with the frame, which has the headphone jack, the earpiece over here, the charger port and buttons on the bottom, the vibrator right over there, and it has that wireless charging pad over here. All right, now we're gonna put it back together. The first thing we're gonna do is connect the cable on the bottom of the back of the board. Alright, once you got that connected, just put the main board back in place, it falls right in. And then you could connect this blue and white cable again. Once you got those back in, reapply the bottom mic in this place and press down so the adhesive holds. And put those two black Phillips screws back in on the bottom by the charger port. Next, we're going to put the main camera back in. Attach it back to the main board. Then we'll go ahead and put the top mic back on. Put it in the socket right here next to the front facing camera. And connect it back on the board. And then you can put the light sensor back in. Connect it back on the board. At this point, you could pop your SIM tray back in. All right, now we're gonna put the mid frame back into the, the housing of the phone. Put the bottom in first, and then pop the tabs back in. Make sure all the tabs, tabs are popped back in. And then you could go ahead and put all your Phillips screws back in.
All right, next, pop this connector for a battery back in over here. Pop back onto the motherboard. And then you could put the cover that goes for it back in place. And then you could put that black Phillips screw back on. Then take that silver or chrome Phillips screw that you took off from underneath the light sensor, put it back in. It's going to be on the top next to the earpiece. And you could put your light sensor back in the socket. Pop it back in. Then next, you're gonna put your fingerprint reader back on. All right, next what you're gonna do, you're gonna connect the screen back onto the board. You're gonna pop the connector back in. Once you got it in, you're gonna put that black plastic cover back over it. Once that's in place, put the plastic cover over the fingerprint sensor connector. Once that's in also, put the screen back in this place. Just apply pressure. And then you can heat it up as well to apply the adhesive. And then you can heat up around the corners as well to reapply the adhesive a little bit stronger. And then you're ready to go.